Hey, this is James again. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate some information about uh, favorites, uh, specifically about text favorites, so how to work with those. So these features were added a few versions ago, maybe some updates, uh, I think, in the more recent versions. Um, currently I'm using Archicad 23 for this demonstration and just using the international template. So here I've already placed some text. So these are just some simple text uh, with a few different fonts, a few different colors, and some different settings. So for example, this Comic Sans, if I open up the settings, has a width and spacing. So the value has changed a little bit here. So it's more stretched out to look even worse. <laughs> uh, obviously it wouldn't recommend using Comic Sans, but just for the for this example. Here I've got a level dimension, I've got a label, a, a regular dimension, a elevation, and here is a fill with a uh, show area text uh, list, uh, shown on it as well. So what I'm going to do is then create three new favorites from these texts and then how we can use those. So first one, the, sorry, Times New Roman. So if I open up the Times New Roman, uh, this one, so here you can see that the selected settings shows me what will be saved. So if I open up the star and then create a new favorite, and here I'm just going to call this so Times New Roman Old. So this will be the first one and click OK. So here it gets added to my list of uh, favorites. And I'm just going to exit that dialog and I'll do the same for the other two. So I'll open this uh, Futura, open the favorites, new Futura medium and click OK. So this gets added to my favorites list leave the dialogue and then my last one, the Comic Sans, I'll create a favorite from this. So, and also it shows me the, uh, st the text size, so in the preview. So here I'll call this Comic Sans Wide, for example, just because it has the uh, additional width and spacing. So Comic Sans, click OK. So for example, if I want this to be a different color, so currently I've chosen this red. So I'm gonna choose, say, a, uh, a different red, uh, or let's say, because hmm, it's already quite red, okay, a little bit redder, so this red. And if I open up the settings, and I'm just gonna right click on this and say redefine. So now this changes to these new settings. So this is how we can update. And we'll click OK because we want this also to choose the red. OK, so now that we've saved these three as favorites, let's see how we can use those. So I'm going to choose my label and open up the settings. Now, if I save a favorite, uh, it's going to include everything in this list. So it's going to include the, uh, include the information uh, stored, the object, the uh, properties, etc. But I just want to update the, the, the text itself, so I don't want to affect the label. So if we go to text style, we can click on the favorite, and here I can see my three new ones, so Times New Roman, Futura, and Comic Sans. So if I choose the Times New Roman and go OK, now we can see that we're actually using the favorite that we created from the text tool for the label. So let's try that with uh, some other things. So if I go into the level dimension and open and under textile, I see my favorites and let's choose the Comic Sans and OK. So now it includes the same size, the same spacing, same color. Uh, let's try then for the text. So this text is actually linked to this fill. So this fill, if I open up the settings, has the show area text selected. So if I select just the text, open its properties and under text style, maybe for this one we'll try the Futura that we created. 
So I'm using the Futura, click OK. And even for, so this is just a few examples. So even for this uh, section, if I open up its settings, and if I go to the market textile, I also have this uh, favorites icon. So for example, let's choose the uh, Comic Sans as well. So you can see that the spacing, the width, the color, uh, all get saved. Click OK. So you can see this gets updated. So this is a few of the examples. And if I go to something like a schedule, so I'm going to open up a wall schedule. So let's say for headers, I also have this little favorites. So let's say for headers, I'm going to choose the Times New Roman. And for values, I'm going to choose the Futura Medium. So to update the spacing, I'm just going to use the dot 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 and I'm going to automatically resize the columns and resize the rows. Just so it fits in, so it doesn't uh, crop it. So here you can see that just with creating a few texts on the floor plan based on your st uh, company styles, you can then use those favorites uh, pretty much anywhere that text is. So if you're creating a lot of different schedules, then this can be an easier way to get some consistency through the documentation. And maybe for the total, let's choose the Comic Sans. So if we go back, and I'm just gonna choose this Future Medium and open, and I'm gonna choose a different color. So let's say the, uh, let's say purple. And so I'm gonna right click on this, redefine to update to purple. So obviously this won't apply everywhere, but I can then just go back in, edit this text and choose the Futura. So now it will include the updated purple. And if I go back to the schedule, select anything that's a value, and again, choose the future of medium, then everything will change. So hopefully this is an easier way to then, like to, or to store your company standards for your text, to be able to use it everywhere in your model. Cool, thanks. Till next time, bye.